Researchers have discovered a way to use the gene editing tool CRISPR to correct blood disorders. CRISPR is a revolutionary tool that uses an enzyme called Cas9 to cut out bits of DNA as if using scissors. But the technology is new and scientists are still working out how to use it to modify DNA mistakes without introducing new mutations. Dr. Cho Suhua and a global team of scientists have found that by wrapping the Cas9 enzyme in a specially formulated nanoparticle, they are able to safely and effectively use a CRISPR enzyme for gene editing. The approach has been used successfully on mice to address genetic disorders in blood. Common blood disorders such as beta thalassemia can often only be treated with blood transfusions and bone marrow transplants. These therapies can relieve the symptoms of the disease, but they are not a cure. But Chiu Shihua of Taipei Veterans General Hospital and a global team have developed a potential corrective solution that harnesses CRISPR technology. The team developed a supramolecular nanosubstrate mediated delivery system that facilitates the successful use of CRISPR. The findings were published in the international journal Science Advances in October. The thing that's feared most in gene therapy is side effects, that is to say, editing a part of the gene that shouldn't have been edited. Through our method, which works using nanotechnology, we can directly introduce the active modification enzyme, the Cas9 enzyme, that can cut away a lot of complicated steps, making the procedure safer. Using nanotechnology, the team encapsulated the Cas9 enzyme, which is used to fix genetic defects. When the enzyme is introduced to the defective gene, it acts as scissors that cut out the defect, which is replaced with correct sequences to truly cure the patient. Compared with existing gene therapies, this team's method can lower costs by nearly 50 percent. It's also safer. In preclinical animal trials, the effect was extremely good. In two or three years, once these trials are completed, we'll see its biosafety and effects. We hope it can eventually enter human clinical trials. The government has been promoting nanotechnology innovation and applications. Today we see very good results here. We strongly encourage cross-disciplinary exchanges and cooperation in academia. Earlier this year, researchers found that the gene editing technology could be used to treat X-linked juvenile retinoschisis, potentially restoring vision. Now, CRISPR is being explored as a way to treat blood disorders. Researchers hope to develop a treatment for human use as early as two or three years from now.